ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وبعد we begin by praising allah we praise him we seek his help and we ask for his forgiveness we take refuge with allah from the evil of ourselves and from the evil consequence of our evil actions whomsoever allah guides no one can misguide but whomsoever allah leaves to go astray no one can guide and i testify that allah alone is worthy of worship and that muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the servant of allah and his final messenger My dear brothers and sisters in Islam and my dear brothers and sisters in humanity I greet you with the Islamic greeting of peace assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh May the peace and the blessings of Allah be upon all of you I've been asked today to talk about the Quran and the modern world so i thought i would start by defining our terms number 1 the quran number 2 the modern world it is very easy alhamdulillah all praises due to allah to define the quran it is very easy to define the quran the quran is the uncreated speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is the uncreated speech of God this is what muslims believe and know to be true that the quran are the words of the creator that was revealed to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam 1400 years ago The Quran is also a miracle. It is the greatest miracle that was given to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It was a miracle then and it is a miracle until this day. It is something that defies human ability and it goes against the nature of things. It is something that the creation could never have produced. The Quran is something that could only be from Allah, only be from the creator of the heavens and the earth. And one of the miraculous aspects of this Quran, of this book, of this book the Quran is that this book has remained unchanged for 1400 years since this Quran was revealed. it has remained unchanged not one single word and not one single letter of the quran is different today than it was when the time the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had left this world from that day until today we have the same quran you can travel anywhere in the world you could be here in dubai You could go to England, you could go to India, you could go to the Philippines, you could go to Siberia. You could go to the furthest part of the east or the west or the north of the south. Any land you go to and any masjid or any place you go to and you pick up this Quran. And you will find that all the Muslims everywhere 
have the same book. It doesn't change by a letter. It doesn't change by a word. And you can go back 100 years, 200 years, 500 years, 700 years. You can go back and we can go back to the earliest existing manuscripts written in the time of Uthman ibn Affan. And we can compare the Quran that we have today with the Quran from those days and throughout all of those ages and we will find that it is still the same Quran. This is a miracle of this book. And why should it not be when Allah who revealed the Quran, He told us, Inna nahnu nanzalna al-dhikra wa inna lahu al-hafidhun Verily we have preserved, the, we have revealed, we have sent down. Nazalna, we have sent down the reminder, meaning the Quran. This is another name for the Quran. The dhikr, the reminder. And upon us is the preservation of it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He prophesied and He said that He will preserve this Quran. And it is exactly how Allah said. It has been preserved until this day. This is one of the miracles of the Quran. And why? Why did Allah preserve the Quran? And not the Injil, and not the Torah, and not the Zabur, and the other scriptures that came before. How is it that Allah allowed only the Quran to be preserved, and those other books, those other revelations to be distorted and to be corrupted? The reason for this is because it is only the Qur'an that Allah intended to be guidance for humanity until the end of time. The Qur'an is a book of guidance, not only for those people living in Arabia 1,400 years ago. It is not only guidance for them, but it is also guidance for us living in the world today. And it will be guidance for our children and our children's children, and it will remain guidance until Allah lifts up the Quran from this earth. It is the last and final revelation. There will be no more books, there will be no more messengers. There will be no more prophets. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is khatam al nabiyin He is the seal of the messengers. And after him there will be no more messengers. There will be no more and no new religion from God.